Most people will never wear a shark suit fine. made out of actual Suddenly, chain mail, but Jeff's out. Out. Sharks grab the bite down force over a large area, arm. preventing tooth penetration. The great white is the world's largest yeah, predator. Covered with the new metallic mesh material, we tried first on a blue shark. We're in San Diego, California, where we'll meet a man who's pioneered a steel chain mail suit that actually allows doctors to face to face. These safety suits are designed by Jeremiah Sullivan. Jeremiah uses the bait to draw the shark to his body. Here goes. Are you okay, Jeremiah? Roger, no problem. To a new invention, uh, divers have less to worry about. And here to tell us more about the new protective shark suit is inventor and marine biologist Jeremiah Sullivan. Jeremiah? When I was 15 years old, I got to do my first ever shark feed in the Bahamas. And they told me that I'd be putting on something called chain mail, which is this sparkly stuff right here. It's something that people feeding sharks and doing all kinds of shark-related activities wear to protect them. We're in San Diego today to talk to Jeremiah Sullivan. He's the man that actually invented and shaped and pioneered the use of chain mail in the shark feeding industry. So we're going to talk to him about the history of that and about some of the new things that he's been working on. You're going you're gonna to dig on some of this stuff, man. Uh, you know, I grew up in I grew up in Hawaii and Puerto Rico, and was always in the water playing, surfing, swimming, snorkeling around. And uh, you know, everybody that's, that grows up in the water back in those days uh, had some concerns about sharks because we only knew so much. Is he brave? Is he crazy? Yeah, he's Jeremiah Sullivan. <laughs> yeah, you know, for the most part, anybody that spends that that much time in the water, you're a little bit trepidatious about sharks because what you've heard isn't necessarily good. And back in those days, there was no shark diving community. It was uh, that, uh, uh, that was way ahead of all that that curve. And and uh, as a as a young marine biologist, my interest was the human shark interaction. I was a big believer that uh, uh, that there is a possibility for friendly encounters. That all creatures can get along if you just take the time to understand and experience them, uh, you know, respectfully and responsibly. And and uh, I'm, I'm happy to have seen that that's worked out quite spectacularly with the development of the shark diving industry. Uh, but um, uh, the, uh, the original shark suits were intended to give me an opportunity to have a realistic experience and understand specifically and precisely what occurs when those negative interactions happen. And again, not knowing what to expect, we didn't have this information that we have today, you know, in retrospect, it was risky. And I was trying to figure out a way to be one man in the water no cages, no safety divers, no nothing. One guy in the water with whatever hell's breaking loose and see what actually went on instead of the theory or the speculation or all of the, the hype and the hoopla. So you wanted to push hoopla. some boundaries and this was a way to be a little bit safer doing that? A lot safer, I was hoping, and it turned out to be so. So I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, all right, so they don't like metal. Uh, shark's teeth look a lot like arrowheads. They're a sharp-edged weapon. Dark ages, they use chain mail in order to protect themselves from that, 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 kind of, uh, that kind of damage. Now back in the old days, chain mail was a very different material. It was very heavy, very coarse. Of course, they were using long, long blades and, and heavy things like that. Uh, what, we, what we use now for, for, for sharks is simply a, a, a very fine version of that uh, so that you've got the same patterns as some of these. There, there are many patterns of chain mail. But this is a four-in-one four uh, pattern, and uh, they're individually welded rings. It's made much finer. I had, uh, in the beginning, the rings made actually smaller to protect from the, from the bottom teeth, which are generally narrow and more spiky, from, uh, from uh, penetrating. And that, um, I started looking around to see if I could find some material to test this theory. So I started calling museums and you know any, any place that would have an armor suit to see if I could borrow it take it out in the ocean and see if sharks were affected by it. Did so they think you were crazy? They absolutely <laughs> thought I was crazy, and they may still think that. But, uh, you know, I went to the Navy. I went to a lot of places, uh, and I asked, I asked people if they you know, would be help, help, help me to figure this out. And they all thought it was ridiculous. Uh, but my friends, my Australian friends, Ron and Val, were in town uh, shortly thereafter, and uh, we talked about this, this possibility, and they said, oh, 
I think I know where you can get some material like that. And it turned out to be a oyster shucker's glove. This is a, uh, this is a, this is a test that was done with white pointers off of uh, South Africa. A single layer of chain mail that works fine for most carcharinids. A white shark cut this thing in half. This was filled with a, uh, with a, a, a flesh and, and, and bone, uh, human bone replicating structure that I built. Then there was bait inside this, this bag. Uh, it was fairly long, about like this. White shark bites this. I think I recall it exactly that it was five shakes of his head. Boom, straight through. What will hold up for great whites, however, is, uh, is, a, is a modified suit. So here you've got, here you've got a, double, a double layer of that old material. I could open this. Not a single like block yeah, yeah. or anything on this. One. Yeah, no, it, it 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 changes a lot of the dynamics. Now that's very very heavy. At the same time, so shark suits are very important uh, to protect against incidental bites, accidental bites, confusion, or just a shark having a bad day and uh, and wanting to take a nip out of frustration at somebody. You really only need to have a suit as a normal person maybe once in your life, maybe twice, you know, maybe one or two percent of the time that you're engaged with sharks, even if you're feeding. If you look around now at the shark diving industry, you see people having a blast. I mean, everybody's just willy-nilly all over the place. To me, this is a bit reckless. I'm not a big believer of being disrespectful of creatures. You don't go walk around the savannah in Africa and tug on a lion's ear that's sitting down taking a nap. It's gotten a bit carried away in the, in the, in the, in the, in the shark diving industry. However, there are many operations that are doing a hell of a good job informing people about sharks accurately, educating them, teaching them uh, 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 proper feeding techniques, safe, uh, safe interactions and all that sort of thing. And that's, that's what I, I, I'm most proud of, seeing that this uh, technology, which was basically a, the folly of one guy uh, uh, in the beginning, now serving many in, uh, in, 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 an, in an effort to, uh, to uh, uh, increase the, the conservation uh, 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 aspect of such a critical member of the marine uh, you know, ecosystem. Um, who are some of the people that use this now, other than people that feed sharks? Yeah, they, they were, well, as you know, they were originally uh, created for science, so I could, uh, I could study the human shark actu uh, you know, uh, interaction more accurately. And uh, since that time, there have been uh, salvage uh, divers, scientists, filmmakers, camera people, photographers, uh, the professional shark diving operations, uh, uh, the uh, people that work on hulls in different areas where you've got uh, big salt salties in Australia uh, or bull sharks in, uh, in murky water. I built special suits for them. Uh, heavy, but they keep them all attached. Nothing gets pulled or bitten off of you, uh, certainly. And, uh, uh, that, uh, and then, there, of course, there's some military. And, and now this, even this technology, but with the titanium materials, which are lighter, being used in Europe for a lot of the knife uh, cop stuff, you know, so they don't get cut up as easily. So I thought blackmail, this would be a significant increase in the protection because you, you see you've got the fish looking stuff here and then you got a suit that's clearly not, not uh, the same color as that bait. So you increase the likelihood that that shark will not make a mistake and, and injure the diver. Also disappears basically on your on your wetsuit. It's uh, you know you uh, when you're wearing this stuff, you you got your black wetsuit on, and and you basically become a very innocuous appearance instead of something bright, flashy, uh, attractive, uh, and so on.